I am here with Monica Mikola. We are here still at the Wing Four Racing World Cup here in Italy. And one of the reasons why we wanted to talk to Monica is you came from a kind of a different universe. You are an Olympic campaigner, Paris 24 in the Ilka 6, which is a one person hiking, sit down dinghy, uh, super hard. What we wanted to find out from you is now you're in this universe of wing foil racing. What are some of the biggest differences between the level of preparation equipment yourself from the Olympics to here in wing foil racing? Is, is it pretty similar? Is the level pretty high in both equipment and your personal preparation or is it a little different? Well, coming from obviously the laser, the ILCA 6, it's a one design class, so everyone has the same equipment. Perfect. So there isn't that much tuning of the equipment and changing of the equipment because we cannot change anything. Literally, one extra rope in the boat, it's illegal. So there is no room to fix your gear or change anything. So in terms of that, this world is completely different. Everyone has so much gear, they're tuning all the time, testing new things, there's prototypes coming every week or so. People are with all kinds of wings and foils and boards and I guess now there's the new double sleeve profile wings coming which seem pretty fast. So in terms of the gear, I think wing foiling definitely has a one step up on the laser. But then when it comes to like actual training and like the structure, I do think Olympic sailing still is a bit more structured. Like you see a lot of people with well thought out training programs and they travel all around and they rock up to the venues like months before to train. And obviously we spent three years in Paris, in Marseille training for the games. And I think for that wing foiling isn't really on that level yet. There are a few coaches actually here for people, but it's still mostly you're on your own, which is not the case with the Ilka 6. When we pre-talked about this whole thing, you found yourself a little bit beachier in terms of your approach to this event, more relaxed in your equipment, but um, are you bringing some of that kind of more structured approach to preparation and training from your Olympic campaign to here? Well, I'm definitely used to the long training days and the spending a lot of time on the water. So that's what I actually did after the games. I got some racing gear and I did spend a lot of time on the water to be able to be comfortable on the water. But I do still, I came here with a bit of like, oh, we'll see how it goes and it's nice and something new. And actually, I think what is very beachy and cruisy for me still is quite unknown in this circuit so for example this morning i came here like hour and a half before the meeting and nobody was here so i was like okay right that's you're good. still doing pretty yeah, good yeah let's relax a little bit <laughs> olympic sailing obviously things can get quite intense people have put in a lot of effort money time to be the best so this is definitely a friendly environment Cool, and maybe one day this sport will kind of work its way into that corner of the universe. But now the next question is, let's just talk basically about the craft. Slow boats versus fast foiling craft. What do you like better right now? Well, right now, obviously my heart is with the foiling. Like I live my life in four knots and it was nice. With it the Ilka 6. It, with the yeah. Ilka 6, yeah, obviously we went. If you got into double digits of like 10 knots and above, you need it. you were going so quick <laughs> and here just to fly you need to go 10 knots mm. so it's a completely different world so all i know about time and distance and approaching people it's completely different to what i'm used to but i absolutely love it i'm so stoked to be here and everyone is pushing so hard all the girls are charging but it's just it's it's great i love the speed i i want to get more Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Monica. No, it's great you. to learn from you on your side of things, and I'm glad to see you're catching on pretty quick. So <laughs> thanks for sharing well, your experience. Thank you. Cheers.